Okay, so this is Sasha from Decolonize Academy Summer Camp, and we were building this pen for the goats yesterday. And right now, what we've gotten done is about the frame. We've got a kind of rough roof on right now, and I'd like to pass this over to Tibu. So, hello, my name is Tibu uh, from Decolonize Academy Summer Program, and so far we've built um, two pertaining walls. We need to put um, plywood right there, plywood under there, plywood on top of here, and on top of here, and we'll be pretty much done. And honestly, we worked on this for about two hours, and we use hand saws, and I feel like we got a lot done in, in the time that we've been allotted to do it, so yeah, it's what? pretty cool. My name's Kimo Umu, part of Decon and I summer camp, and uh, I had a lot of fun being a part of this project, especially with Tasha and Tibu being our spearheads, and uh, uh, taking the front for this me we kind of supported kind of uh, uh, cut these are these like 90 or those are six foot so six foot and then these ones are uh, 63 64 mm -hmm. inches 95 mm -hmm. 95 well there you go and um, I would say that the toughest part was being in here because it kind of smells <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing and uh, our shoes are kind of dirty but that's the most we lost. Right, and... Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm Amir Cornish. Uh, this is summer program. And first of all, we came out here to clean the shit out, to build this frame. And I helped me, t -Woo, cut the wood and got the wood from in the front. And that's all today. That's what's up. Hey. Hey. Um, uh... Um, yeah, we uh, built a goat pen for the goats so they can live somewhere. And uh, we, it was very hard because we had to clean. And uh, Chemo found this thing under there that smelled like boo-boo, like, like serious boo-boo. And he, uh, we cut the wood. We did a lot of stuff. Um, and it was fun. Right on. Who who led all this? Who had taught you, young scholars? Muthe. 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 Uncle Mo, you got something they to say? Did. Well, no, just just that they did a great job. Um, um, you know, building this for the goats. Uh, so they stopped taking over the the chicken coop. They've been displacing the chickens for the last couple of days. Sorry. And so yeah, but uh, you know, the majority of the work the scholars did, and they put a lot of work um, and a lot of effort. So I'm really proud of them. Right on. And can someone say what homefulness is? Homefulness is the poor people's solution to homelessness. It's us creating a solution for ourselves, a housing for ourselves, trying not to rely on uh, philanthropists and, and uh, corporations making money off of our struggle. Ah, uh, Shay. And why do we, why do we have goats? Because uh, I don't know why do we why do we have goats? It's kind of confusing, but um, it's a long story. Because we got them on accident and now they're here. <laughs> yeah. Because so. us concrete jungle survivors who were trying to move off the grid of bloodstained dollars and wanted to have goat milk and cheese, like we've heard a lot of hippie white people. I mean hippies no. do. We uh, we went and got these goats, but we didn't know that there are different kind of goats, and so these goats we just saved them from slaughter. But now they're therapy goats, and they have goat medicine. Whenever we think of having video or a barbecue, they yell at us, and we just love them. And then we also have chickens for the eggs, and the next thing is uh, is the chickens, because they definitely feel like they're gender fucked and being displaced out of their old coop. That's why they've got their butt to us right now. They won't even say anything to the camera. Uh, signing out. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.